Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on this channel. In this case we'll take a look at GitHub Actions to push and build a container image. And we'll use GitHub Container Registry for this. Now what will we actually build? Of course we start from a repo, it's a public one and you'll find the link in the description of this video. It contains some Python code, which is not that important, but it does contain a Docker file that we will use to build our image to run this code. Now to build the actual image, we will use a GitHub workflow for this. And a GitHub workflow is comprised of several actions. We will use actions to define the tags of our image, of course to build the image, scan it for vulnerabilities and then push the image. We will run these actions when something changes in our repository. In this example, we'll just run the actions when a commit happens to the main branch. Now, of course, when we push the image, we have to push it somewhere. We'll need to do that to a container registry. There are several container registries. You can think of Docker Hub, for instance, but also something like Azure Container Registry, which is a private uh, registry. But GitHub also has a container registry. It is part of GitHub packages. And if you turn on the preview features, you can also have your image defined as a public image. So anyone on the internet can pull it uh, from you. Now, of course, we will push this image every time that we have our uh, workflow being run. And let's see how we do this in practice. Before we get started, let's make sure that we've enabled the improved container support. So on your uh, profile icon at the uh, top right, just click, then select Feature Preview. And at the time of recording, which is December 2020, uh, this is what I got as a feature preview that I can turn on. So it's improved container support. I already enabled it. Now, what are we going to do here? We are going to uh, build and push a container image. In the end, it will end up here in the packages. So if I click on packages, I can show you already what would be the result of our action. So here you can see that I have one package, which is called RG API. When I click on that uh, package, you will see that it is indeed a container image. And here's the uh, command line I can use to pull the image to my local system, for instance. As you can see, GitHub uses the ghcr.io domain name uh, to indicate the GitHub container registry. You'll see here, of course, that I have different tags. They just call this uh, the recent image versions. So I have a uh, Git SHA, for instance. I have a name for my branch as well, which is main and so forth. And I also linked it up to my repository. So the readme of my repository is also shown here in the list. Now it's time to create the action. So going to actions and we're going to set up a workflow ourselves. So not use one of the suggested uh, workflows here. So click on set up a workflow yourself and I'm going to remove what is in there, what they, uh, what they propose. I'm going to just uh, delete that and call the action build push dot uh, yaml. So that's done. And the first thing we'll do is we will set up the name of our uh, action and also decide when to run the action. So I'm just going to copy and paste because I already have this somewhere prepared. Of course, I'm not just going to all type it in uh, by hand. Uh, in this case, I'm going to say, look, the uh, action is called publish Docker image. And when there's a push to the main branch or we have crafted a new release with, for example, a, a version, we will run this workflow. Now, of course, a workflow is built of jobs and steps. So you have jobs and then each job has several steps. Now, I'm going to keep it simple here. I'm going to have one job. I'm going to call that job built. So let me copy and paste that for you. And then you see here, indeed, the job is called built. Now I've added here, as you can see, and I will maybe uh, make this a little bit uh, bigger so it's easier to see. I've added here an if statement 
uh, where we check the commit message. If there's a skip CI in that, then we will not run this uh, workflow. And now it is time uh, to have our steps in there. The first step is of course going to be, we will check out our code uh, from our repo on our uh, Ubuntu machine that we will run all the steps on. So this is the uh, checkout uh, step. And after the uh, checkout step, we're going to have to decide what are we going to name our Docker image. Uh, there are several ways that you can uh, do so. For example, you could do that with scripts and so forth, but there are also uh, several actions available for you to use. And there is an action which is called Docker Meta. Uh, you'll find it here, that's the name of it, the full name, so Crazy Max, yes, uh, Docker Meta V1. And that one takes a couple of parameters. Uh, in this case, we're going to specify the image name we want to use for our uh, Docker image. Uh, and we need to make sure that we put the GitHub container registry.io in front of that, and then followed by either our username, if you are an individual user, or an organization name. And then, of course, the name of our image, we choose that ourselves. Uh, some of the options of the uh, GitHub action, uh, the Docker meta action, are, for example, how should we do the actual tagging? So what should we have as tags behind this image name? Yeah, in this case, I'm going to tag it with a uh, git commit SHA. So I want to do that. For example, when I commit to main, uh, that will result in uh, an image with a tag that is the git uh, SHA. Uh, when I'm using, for example, a version, I have a published version, uh, he will also create um, a tag for that version and he will also add the latest tag as well. So this one, I recommend that you look it up uh, on the web to see what all the options are. But it's a, it's a great uh, way of specifying the name of the image and the, uh, the tags of the image. Now we can prepare our build environment and log in to the GitHub container registry. So I'm just pasting in these actions here. Uh, I'm not gonna discuss uh, these two, but this basically sets up our Docker build environment. And then we have our login to the GitHub container registry. By the way, you would also use this to log in to, for example, uh, Docker Hub or other uh, container registries, like for example, Azure container registry. I just need to specify the name of the registry, which in this case is GitHub CR or ghcr.io, and then of course, username and password. The username in my case is just my name, my username, Gebake, which I can retrieve with this one over here. This is a built-in variable. And of course, the password is something I will need to set as a secret. You would do so from the uh, settings options here. There you would define a secret in my case, I just call that secret the uh, GitHub uh, container registry password over here. And you have to put in a token, so a GitHub token that has the necessary access rights to GitHub packages. So with that login done, we are uh, ready to, of course, start building our image. And as you already uh, know, we already have defined our image name and the tags. So we need to grab those from this action over, over here and this action over here. So how do we do that? Well, you can use the standard build push action for this. And I'm just going to copy and paste that into the uh, workflow. And here you see that we have our name of the action, which I'm just calling build image. Uh, it's, it's the build push action v2 that we're using. And, and that's important, the tags we're going to use on our image are coming from the Docker meta step. That Docker meta step has outputs, and the outputs in this case are the tags, and they are defined again by our options that we specify over here. And you'll see in a moment what tags will be created, right? Now, this one, this action does not push to our container registry. We need to do this in a separate step. The reason why is, of course, that you might want to do things between building the image and pushing the image. For example, if you would like to check for vulnerabilities or other things you would like to do. So in this case, I'm going to just repeat the same action, push image. It's the same action, the build and push action. But in this case, we have push equals true as well. The only thing we have to do now is to save this uh, workflow in our repository. And in this case, I'm making it simple here. I'm just doing a commit directly to the main branch which will also trigger a build 
and push already. So I'm gonna commit this new file. This is the file that was committed. So now in your repository, uh, you have the .github folder and then a workflows folder that contains the build push YAML. Now, before we proceed, I need to show you, of course, a couple of other things. That is, first of all, I referred in my action or in my workflow, I refer to a secret. Yeah, the secret is over here. So in settings, you have the secrets. I have yeah several uh, secrets in here, but one of the secrets is this uh, GitHub container registry underscore password. And of course, that one should contain a token. So if you're uh, looking at, for example, where you can find your uh, tokens, well, you can find these in your uh, settings, in your developer settings, and there you have your personal access tokens. You would generate a new token, and that token would have uh, a couple of uh, writes here. It would have, for example, write and read packages, and maybe also delete packages. You, of course, decide that, but the token needs explicitly these, uh, these uh, accesses. So if I'm going back to my um, repository here, Normally, by just creating this build push YAML, this of course is, is a change to main that would also trigger the action. And here you see that the action was indeed triggered. This is the uh, publish Docker image. Um, and here you have the uh, create build push YAML and the result was fine, it was positive. So if we check that and see what he did, and by the way, there's a new UI here as well, which if you have multiple steps and so forth or multiple, multiple jobs, etc that would show up nicely in this screen. This is just one job, so <laughs> just one built uh, thing here. And as you can see, we have this uh, Docker meta um, action, and that one has indeed set the, the tags in this case. So the tags that were set because of this commit to main uh, are in this case a tag or a version called main, and then uh, the git commit sha. Um, and of course, when we uh, later uh, build our image and push our image, so if you go to the build image, which is using the Docker buildx environment, you can see everything which was done to build uh, this image, right? So it's quite some things. In this case, of course, it's, it's a Docker file, which is doing some Python stuff. And then the image that was built uh, is then going to be pushed here. Uh, and that's basically it, right? So if we are now going to our um, um, and to our packages, you should see that indeed the package published three minutes ago uh, there was a new version uh, pushed by this uh, by our by our workflow, and here if I click on the package, uh, you can indeed see that there is three minutes ago there was a new uh, version here with this uh, commit sha, but also the main one. Now I talked about separating the build and the push uh, image steps. So why would I actually uh, do uh, such a thing? Well, of course, to do things in between. So now here I'm back inside the, the workflow and I'm going to add an action that monitors for uh, security issues. I'm, uh, I'm using an, uh, an action which monitors our image for vulnerabilities using uh, SNCC, or I don't know how you really pronounce that. It's uh, here in this case, this is the action. And what we're doing is we're using the monitor command here. Now, of course, in order to do so, I, you need to have an account at uh, SNCC, and you would also get a token uh, from, uh, from SNCC that you need to have in your secrets somewhere. So we're now in the uh, result of our workflow. And as you can see, there was this uh, step that's called monitor image. It took quite a while, uh, one minute and 20 seconds uh, to monitor it. Now, this is just monitoring, which also means that uh, I am not stopping this workflow when I'm finding uh, specific vulnerabilities here. So I just have some information now up at SNCC for me to look at. But regardless the vulnerabilities, uh, the image will be, will be pushed uh, afterwards. As you can see here, the push just happened. And I'm sure there are vulnerabilities in this image. And just for fun, here's the result of our SNCC vulnerability scan, which we did by using the CLI in our in our GitHub action. And yeah, the base image that we're using here, not saying it's a bad image, 
but this image is quite large, quite big, uh, lots of stuff in there. And that's why we see that there are many high severity, but also many medium and low severity issues in there. Great that we know that now. We have come to the end of this video. So if you have questions or remarks, do leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you some other time. Bye bye.